Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Views back with another video and it's been a couple of weeks now since the release of the new iOS 18 with all the cool new features and changes and we already have a new update on the way iOS 18.0.1 should be out anytime now. Well, I wouldn't even be surprised if it happens today. So iOS 18.0.1 has actually been spotted on the internet. That means that Apple is working hard on it and it should be out any day now. Now, I would actually expect to be released maybe either today or tomorrow. Usually Apple, when they release a new update, they will do it at the beginning of the week. But of course, course it will come this week but what it will bring to your device let's go ahead and talk about some of the new changes that this update might bring to your device now as far as features goes i don't really expect this update to bring new features to your iphone we have to wait for ios 18.1 for that which is currently on beta and we're going to talk about the release date of 18.1 in a minute here but as far as ios 18.0.1 goes i would expect it to bring a few changes and improvements first of all of course we have a ton of bugs that have to be addressed and some of them are actually very very serious one of them is affecting the screens especially for the new iphone 16 series where different parts of the screen might be unresponsive so you're basically tapping but it's doing nothing now this is happening mostly to the iphone 16 series but it also had a few different cases where users reported this problem on all the devices as well and there should be a fix for the iMessage app as well. Now, this is a quite a big problem with iMessage is that if you actually share a watch face with someone on iMessage, that would cause the app to crash and not just crash once, it will repeatedly crash. So that's a huge problem. Hopefully that will be fixed as well. And also the iPads are having a few problems like the iPad Pros with the M4 chip are actually getting bricked by iPadOS 18. So that's quite a huge problem. Hopefully Apple will actually address that problem with this update. Now, overall, you can also expect some heating issues to be resolved. There are actually quite a few cases when your device will get heated with iOS 18.0 that hopefully will be fixed and hopefully also a slight improvement on battery life as of course you cannot expect something major but we should get a slight improvement on battery life as of course other security fixes and patches so should you update or not of course you should this is a really important update and you should update if you're already on ios 18. now if you're on ios 17 and you don't plan to updating to ios 18 then of course you should not but go ahead and update if you're already on ios 18 make sure you update to 18.0.1 once it gets released or you can just go ahead and go to your software update here under the general settings and just make sure you have everything turned on on automatic and it will happen itself you don't need to worry about updating your device so what's next for ios 18 well we're on ios 18.1 beta now with a ton of new features it brings a ton of new ai features and also other features for all the devices as well we're currently on beta and we can expect a couple of more betas i believe before apple releases the rc version probably somewhere here on the 15th or 16th of october and then i would expect apple to actually release ios 18.1 to the public sometime here on the 21st or the 22nd of october so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one